exerted their strengths out wide with Galton in particular. Wide now for Rousseau. The reset central. Not much going on in red. In the penalty area. Russo to take it on herself. Galton now. Back for Haley Lads. Zellen with she caught. Eventually Lucy May gives the free kick. In a very promising position. Yeah, late challenge there from Rachel Williams. Just came through on the wrong side. So Zellen. Borisa there, two in front of the Spurs wall. Is this the creativity? We'll be looking at, look at Toon here. And the Toon! Tracks it wide, might have been a touch on that, it will be a corner. But well, there he was, because nobody picked up Ella Toon. I don't really think Manchester United could have signposted that anymore. You've got Ella Toon completely unmarked, she's a player you want to get on the ball. She's stood in front of the goalkeeper where everybody knows she can't remain there for the gut for the, for the shot to be onside and comes the corner oh Borisa! just what united needed finally they've been able to break through tottenham hotspur and it's come courtesy of phil de Borisa. And it finally, United in front. Oh, Risa, that looked maybe like a handball from Naz, but the referee carrying things on. Bad here for Toon. Great ball in! Oh, it's in! United celebrate again, Hayley Lads, with the biggest smile in LSV. And United finally have a second goal to just give that extra bit of daylight between themselves and Spurs. 2-0. to try and find Galton, or will find its way through. Leigh Galton can celebrate, United can celebrate. All a bit scrappy and disappointing from a Tottenham point of view, but smiles all round for United. A crucial third goal. I think that's what you call an instant impact from your substitute. A great ball across goal, miscommunication between Neville and Corpella. And I don't think Leah Galton will score an easier goal than that all season. And now wide for Neville, he's got time to have a look up and to provide a cross. And Spurs somehow have not taken their chance. How has that not gone in? Very good question. You'd put your house on Rachel Williams scoring the header from there. Congratulations, I can already tell by the smile on your face that you're going to be pleased with that one. I think it's uh, it's credit to the fans, you can hear them now. Um, credit more importantly to the players and, and you know, there's um, a lot to be said about tight games and how you win them and we've grown in experience today and that will hold, hold us in good stead on as we journey forward together. And if we break it down a little bit more, looking at that first half, it was quite a cagey first half to begin with, and then you obviously grew into the game, but them two goals just before half-time was a double blow to Tottenham to put them 2-0 down. It was, but I think they hardly touched the ball first half, so we're the team trying to win the game, and they're the team trying to stop us winning the game, So, and they're very good at that, by the way. Um, that's not, that's not uh, me knocking them at all. Um, but what we've shown is our qualities, our aggression, our attitude to want to win the game of football and that's all I'd ever ask my team to do and you know we've we've scored quality goals and we should have scored more but but you know to come away a clean sheet and three against the next place in the joint in the league is um, is credit to our players